Hello everyone, back for another video. I'm gonna try to make this in two parts, okay? Part one is going to be the shorter part, part two will be the longer part. I understand how it can be challenging when you have only a certain amount of time to watch videos. I go through it myself, I know what it's like, that sometimes I can't stay through all videos. So first part will be the shorter part, I'll let you know when that's over, then we'll get to the second part. All right, uh, we'll be doing two things today. Uh, one of them will be part two where I'll be opening up this tin that Father John sent me over the weekend. I think I got it. Well, last week I got it and I did a video, uh, a Yabo video. But the first part of this video, the shorter part of the video, I would like to get through. Um, I've come to figure out that I've been lacking um, in doing shout outs. I guess uh, remiss would be probably the best word. I've, I've been remiss. Uh, just something that I haven't thought about and I should have put more thought into it. So moving forward, I'm going to try to be more aware of that and do more shout outs. Today I'm just gonna do one shout out, okay? It's some, something that's very uh, important to me, a very special person. He's the first person who reached out to me when I started the channel a few months ago. Uh, I was starting making videos and didn't think there really was much to the content. And even when I feel like that these days, I read the email that he sent me and I want to share it with you because I'm going to ask all of you to please go and give him a subscription. Okay. He recently started making videos and he's doing a great job, a very relaxing, uh, peaceful videos. Uh, let me get to where we are. Uh, let me get to the email. I want to share this with you and I did reach out to him and I asked him if it would be okay and he didn't have a problem with me sharing this because it's a little personal but it was just very kind words so after me ragging on my own videos this gentleman reached out to me and wrote hi John just just wanted to say you're doing a great job on YouTube although I don't post videos myself I am an avid YTPC watcher and pipe smoker even if you feel like you're talking about nothing, it still means something in quotations, the nothing and the something were quotations. So even if you feel like you're talking about nothing, it still means something to a lot of people who share and enjoy the YTPC community. So keep up the good work and keep the videos coming. All the best, Rob C. That Rob C has a channel and his channel is The Peaceful Pipe. Okay, I would like to ask all of you to go out there and show him some love, especially now that he's presenting. Uh, the last I checked, he had 14 subs. I'd like to get him to the 100 sub mark as soon as possible. He deserves it. This email, I still look at it. It's uh, inspiration to me because there are times I still feel like my content is just, you know, average or below average. but. I think about what he says and I keep that in mind. It does mean something to other people. So, Rob, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough for that email. That was back in early July he sent me that. I think I, I had mentioned that in one of my videos. Okay, moving along, I don't wanna keep the people, you know, that can only watch so much of a video. If you'd like to stay with me now for part two, Please do so. If you have to go, I understand that. And thank you for at least watching part one of the video. Now, part two, I'm going to move on to opening up a tin that was sent to me from Father John. Uh, I'm going to post both of the links down below to Rob from the Peaceful Pipe and Father John. I posted his link last week and he was at three subs and now he's up to 25. So thank you all who did sub him. He does not present, but he watches the YTPC. He comments on videos. He's out there. He's out there watching, and he was kind enough to send me a box. If you haven't seen my last video, you'll see the amount of tobacco that he sent me was profound. It really was. Blew my mind. Uh, it was just uh, shockingly intense to me. Could not believe it was what some described as a seller in a box. So... There were so many different types and I didn't know where to begin. I reached out to him and he said, you know, to try maybe what you're familiar with. And, you know, to me, I really don't know what I'm familiar with. I like everything. I haven't come across anything that I don't like. 
I have come across things that I like better than others, but there's really nothing that I ever said, this is disgusting, I don't want to smoke it. So today I'm going to try the Presbyterian. I decided on that one. Okay, Presbyterian Mixture Melange, I think you pronounce it. I hope you all could see that. I don't know what the date is on this. I noticed the dates on some of them that he sent me. One of them, I think, goes back to 2019. Uh, I think it was an Eric Stoker, the fourth generation one. I'll have to look again. Uh, so I don't know what the date is on this. I don't care what the date is, to be honest with you, but I want to crack it open because I've been dying to try some of these tobaccos, all of the tobaccos, out of the ones that he sent me. So let's get to it. right nice and packaged and I could smell that already wow look at that Presbyterian mixture gonna stick my beak in it oh that's what I forgot to get something to wet my beak with an interesting smell not too strong I don't know what it smells like. It smells good. It smells good. All right, well, I'll do a little editing. I wanna get this packed up. I'm gonna be packing it into a, a cleaned out, seasoned 320 alligator Savinelli. I enjoy smoking and we'll see how it goes. So I'll do a little editing here. We'll get this thing lit. And I'll come back, I'll fire it up. I guess that's part of getting it lit, right? We'll fire it up. Once I get it going, we'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I think. And I'm not gonna give you a review. I don't do reviews. I just tell you how I think, how I feel about it. Maybe what I'll do while I take this break, is go grab something to drink to wet my beak with, because I am a bit thirsty. Okay. All right. Let me get this thing fired up. Let me go grab something to drink. I'll bring you guys back in shortly. And uh, we'll let you know. Be right back, everyone. All right, everyone, we're back. Got it going. I ran and I grabbed something cold out of the fridge. Some of my favorite Manhattan special. All right. And just to show everyone that I'm not a purist, I do like it like this. But to show everyone I'm not a purist, and I've told you before, if you ever get your hands on this stuff, you can do this. You can add a little milk. I'm putting some half and half in there because that's just the way I'm feeling right now. All right? That's magical right there. Oh, man, that's good stuff. All right. Let's get back to the Presbyterian. I probably should have let it dry a little bit. It didn't feel that moist to me. All right, I'm clenching at 320. That's not easy to do. Hold on. You gotta be good to do that. It takes skills to do that. I'm definitely, oh. I ran down to the boat and I grabbed the fire extinguisher just in case I start getting tongue bite. I definitely like this. Okay, I definitely like it. 
I got to do a little research and see what's in it. But I'll tell you right now. There's a distinct flavor that I'm tasting in here that I only taste when I smoke nightcap. And I don't know what that flavor is, but I like it. Maybe you could comment and let me know what I'm tasting. I feel like I'm smoking something similar to nightcap. Now, I've only smoked Peterson nightcap. Not Dunhill. I'm assuming Dunhill was before Peterson. That's what it seems like. Just by going what I see videos of. Obviously, I can't get any Dunhill. Peterson makes it now. But I've smoked uh, a full tin of it already. And I bought a couple of tins that I have in the cellar that I'm building. Which there's not much, but since Father John sent me this whole... I don't. I keep looking like the box is still here. Since Father John sent me this whole box, now I have a cellar. I'm not noticing any tongue bite. That's for sure. But I do think I could have let it dry out a little bit. But it's going. Yeah, it's tasty. It reminds me, it reminds me of Nightcap. So, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of this bowl. I will enjoy it. I'm actually going to make it my, my goal to try to, you know, smoke quite a bit of these when I open them so that I could really get the taste for them. Um, I've noticed that with Escudo. And I remember Mike from Briar Blue saying that, saying it in one of his videos to make sure you smoke out of a fresh, clean pipe. And you can't just go by your first time smoking. You really got to give it some time. And that's how I felt about Escudo. When I first opened it and tried it, I didn't think much of it. But the more I smoked it, it actually grew on me, and I really enjoy it now. And I'm just about to run out, and I ordered another tin of it. This stuff, I could tell you, I don't have to let it grow on me. I like it right out of the gate. It's good. So I'm going to finish the rest of this. Father John, thank you so much. Hope you got my email. Sorry I missed your email. There was some stuff going on with my phone just got a new iPhone about a month ago never had an iPhone before and apparently I was missing emails because they were grouped together in some kind of setting that you have to go into I actually had to go back and scroll through my emails a couple of days and look at like a group of emails and I saw not just yours but a couple of people and I was wondering why I've been missing emails but now a cousin of mine this morning told me you got to change a setting I googled it I changed it it looks like everything's good now all my emails when I see them on my phone they come right to the top the newest email it's not stuck on a group somewhere so hope you got my email uh, got a little thank you package out to you father John I think it should be getting to you tomorrow or Saturday I sent you the tracking number thank you again for all of this uh, until the next time, thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. Please click the links below. Go check out Rob's channel, The Peaceful Pipe. Give him some love. And please check out Father John. Go show him some love and show him that you care because he is a YTPC follower, member, slash uh, supporter. All right? I thank everyone. Stay safe, safe, healthy. God bless all of you. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.